you feel physically? What, what do you see when you look in the mirror compared to maybe a year ago? Um, what I see is when I look in the mirror, I see a, um, a leader, a person who is going to um, going to step up and um, get ready for next year. Um, really, a man like that's really forming like a, a better person, as in when it comes to leadership and and like being that person that they need me for the team. How much of that is is, is a new head coach, new coaching staff? Um, they they look for a lot in me because I came back fifth year senior to uh, get my scholarship in and prove in football. So um, they put a lot on my back. So I, all I have to do is uh, execute what they uh, want me to do. What about Coach O in terms of what, what he's been able to do for you guys, strength coach? Uh, do, you, do you see gains and do you, do you feel any different? Um, yes, I see a lot of gains with um, Coach O. Um, we uh, get in, in two hours a day every morning. Uh, Mondays, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, uh, running and conditioning. Uh, he's been he's making us faster, bigger, uh, making sure we're eating the right things and stuff like that. Demarcus, talk about uh, the decision to come back and how you made that. Um, sitting in the car with my mom after the uh, bowl game, uh, she was like, "So, um, what you what what do you want to do?" Um, me coming to miles like, um, maybe I want to take the chance. Then I thought about it. Um, I'm the first one in my family to go to a university. So I wanted to be that um, one to graduate college and set a stepping stone for the younger ones that's in my family. We heard Coach Taggart talk about what it's like for him to come back here. What's it like for you to come back here? Where, where do you go? Um, for me to come back here, I just want uh, people in the community to see that I am, I am what they, um, what they, what they want to be, and um, pre pretty much like um, show them that they have the opportunity to do what I do, do what I can do. What similarities do you see between Coach Canan's coaching style and Coach Taggart's? Um, the speed. Uh, I would say Coach Taggart's uh, offense is a little faster. Um, Coach Kanan, it was fast, and uh, he knew how to win. They both know how to win. I can say that about the offenses when it comes to scoring. They like to score quick. We keep seeing all these tweets from you guys, all, all the fun you guys are having. We talked about during the spring. Is that carrying over into to the off season and the summer for you guys? Oh uh, yeah, it's workouts. You got to have juice. Everything, you, you, everything we do, you got to have juice with it. You got to have fun. What's it mean to you that, that he wanted to bring you down here and? and you know, kind of give you an opportunity to, to speak with some people from your hometown and, and kind of just be a part of this? Um, it meant a lot to me to, um, for him to believe in me and uh, know that I could come back here and, and do this for everyone in the community and show them, like, the success that I'm having and the success they can have if they work hard for it. You ever been on a stage like this before? No. <laughs> <laughs> when did you first hear the name Willie Taggart as a football player? How big has that name resonated in Manatee? Um, I heard his name a lot as I went to Manatee, and then um, him recruiting me at USF, uh, standing outside the locker room after games and stuff. Out of your locker room? Outside? Yeah, outside of my locker room, um, saying, you know what a home team is. And um, once he got to FSU, he said, see, you don't want to come play for me. Now I'm here with you, so tables turned. And um, we've been having fun since he got there, and um, he's showing us the way.